Good morning. We're going on the record at approximately 9.51 a.m. on August 3rd, 2022. Please note that the microphones are sensitive and may pick up whispering, private conversations, or cellular interference. Please turn off all cell phones or place them away from the microphones as they can interfere with the deposition audio. Audio and video recording will continue to take place unless all parties agree to go off the record. This is Media Unit 1 of the video recorded deposition of Ivanka Trump in the matter of the State of New York, Office of the Attorney General, NRA Financial Statements Investigation. This examination is being taken by the New York State Office of the Attorney General, located at 28 Liberty Street, New York, New York. My name is Thomas Devine with Veritex New York, and I'm the videographer. The core reporter is Sylvia Wage, also with Veritex New York. I am not authorized to administer an oath. I am not related to any party in this action, nor am I financially interested in the outcome. Counsel and all present and everyone appearing remotely will now please state their appearances and affiliations for the record. If there are any objections to proceeding, please state them at the time of your appearance, beginning with the noticing attorney. Louis M. Solomon from the Office of the Attorney General. Colleen Kelly Perry, Assistant Attorney General. Austin Duncan, Assistant Attorney General. Andrew Lane, Special Counsel, Attorney General's Office. Alex Finkelstein, Assistant Attorney General. Uh, Kevin Wallace, Senior Enforcement Counsel, with the Attorney General. Eric Nairn, Special Counsel. On this side, um, Alan Futterfass uh, for Ms. Trump. Bettina Shine of Counsel to Law Offices, Alan Futterfass, and Ms. Trump. Mr. Futterfass, I ask you to wear your, oh, you have your microphone on. Yes, Thank right you. Here. I'll yeah. turn it up. Thank you. And we're accompanied by a paralegal, uh, Eleanor Buse, B-U-S-E. Thank you. Thank you. Trump. Sylvia, would you mind swearing in the witness? Ms. Trump, if you could please raise your right hand so I can administer you. <clears throat> do you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Thank you. You may proceed. Thank you. Good morning, Ms. Trump. As you've heard, um, I am Louis M. Solomon. Uh, I am the Chief of Enforcement in the Real Estate Finance Bureau in the New York Attorney General's Office. Also present today with us in the room are Colleen Faraday, Austin Thompson, Andrew Amer, Alex Finkelstein, Kevin Wallace, Samantha Stern, and Eric Harron. Also participating on the WebEx are Will Hanley and Stephanie Torrey from my office. Now, although WebEx has a recording feature, we are not using that today. This testimonial session will be recorded by a video and stenograph by excuse me by video and stenographic means by a videographer and court reporter certified to record testimonial sessions and depositions in the state of New York. Before we proceed, other than your devices for purposes of this testimonial session, please turn off all cell phones, laptops, tablets, and other electronic devices. This examination is being conducted by the Attorney General of the State of New York pursuant to the Martin Act and Executive Law 6312. Before we begin your testimony, I'd like to give you a few ground rules. You have the right to consult with an attorney. Although you do not have a right to have an attorney with you in this examination, the Attorney General will permit you to have your attorney present during your testimony today. Your attorney's role will be limited to consulting with you on issues of privilege. This is not a civil deposition. Your attorney will not be permitted to interpose objections, as is done in civil depositions, and will not be permitted to interrupt the questioning other than for issues of privilege. Anything you say in this examination may be used in a legal proceeding, which includes but is not limited to civil litigation, criminal prosecution, or regulatory proceedings. You have the right to refuse to answer any question if a truthful answer to the question would tend to incriminate you. Any willful misstatement by you may constitute perjury. Neither you nor anyone acting on your behalf has the right to obtain a copy of the transcript of your testimony here today from the reporter or the videographer and the court reporter and video videographer are directed not to release copies of the transcript to anyone other than representatives of the Attorney General's office. Finally, this investigation is confidential. We request that you not discuss this matter, your testimony and documents reviewed here today, or any documents you have produced or may produce in connection with today's testimony with anyone other than your attorneys. Extensive note-taking or an attempt to create a transcript of the proceedings here by you or counsel is not authorized and will not be permitted. A few other instructions that will help this examination go as smoothly as possible. In order for the court reporter to create a clear record, please answer all questions verbally as the reporter can, cannot take down a nod of the head or a shrug of the shoulders. Please let me finish each question before you begin your answer. 
and I will allow you to finish your answer before asking my next question. If you need to take a break at any time, just let me know. If there's a question pending, I would ask that you respond to that question before the break, however. If at any point you do not understand a question, please let me know, and I will rephrase it. If you answer a question, I and anyone reading the transcript will assume that you understood the question. Is that acceptable? Yes. Okay, thank you. Sometimes you may give an answer as completely as you can and then later remember additional information. If that happens, please tell me that you would like to add something to an earlier answer and we'll do it right then while it's on your mind. In addition, the recollection that you knew by no later than 2011 that your father had financial statements? It doesn't, no. When you sent, uh, withdrawn. When you advised Mr. Beal that your father would be sending his most recent financial statement, did you discuss the financial statement with your father before it was sent? I don't believe so. I'm not sure what it means by recent financial statement. So I don't, well, I don't. You wrote it, ma'am. What did you mean? I, like I said, I don't remember. I don't remember the email I could have meant. Um, I don't know. It could have been on the property. It could have been on any number of things. So I, I just well, don't know. It's not what your email says. My father will send you his most recent financial statement. The prior sentence, you mentioned that you were including marketing materials on the property as well as our projections. And in our, you were referring to the Trump Organization, right? Or his and ours, yes. I mean, I use them a little interchangeably, but... Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think the last sentence is clear. My father will all, this is your statement. My father will also send you his most recent financial statement. Okay. Do you understand that to mean that it was your father's financial statement? I mean, it says what it says, but I just don't, I don't have any recollection of this. I don't know what I meant by it, or I don't recall okay. having sent it, so okay. I, I don't know. But in the prior sentence, you use the word our for projections. I see that, yes. But in this sentence, you say his. Okay. There's a distinction between those words, right? Yeah, I guess, yes. Okay. And this doesn't help you in any way, shape, or form to remember that your father had financial statements. Like, I've never said he, like, of course he has financial. Every, like the company has, we have tons of financial statements, but it doesn't help me recall anything specific beyond what it is written here, no. Okay, let's go back then. Maybe I misunderstood your earlier testimony. And when we're done with this, we can take a break. Yeah. Because um, I know you had a request one a moment ago. Thanks. Are you aware that your father had financial statements? I mean, we have a huge business and we have assets and each one of them has tons of both projections and statements, so we have Yes, many. Okay. Let me take a step back. We talked about I make a distinction when I say your father and when I say the Trump Organization. So I'm not asking about the Trump Organization's financial statements. Okay. I'm not asking about Chicago's profit and loss or their annual audited financials. No, but that's uh, what I, I make that I, Like, I think about it all as, like, when you say financial statements, I mean, we have, we're, it's a big business. So I we understand. have tons I'm of financial. I'm sorry, here you finish no, I mean, we have lots of financial statements. Right. I'm asking specifically about your father's personal financial statements. Okay. Okay. Do you have any recollection of your father having personal financial statements? Not specifically. What about generally? Well, see, I combine them all in my mind, like the statements of the company, and so I... No, I mean, not like specific to him. Okay. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Not the company, specific to him where his assets and his liabilities are identified. Sure, he has accountants who do all sorts of stuff, you know, have all sorts of stuff. But I, I no, sorry. Right. I, I don't specifically know what was prepared on his behalf for him as a person okay. separate and distinct from the organization and the properties that I was working on. And so I, I know, I don't know how they did that and who prepared it and the mechanisms like that. 
Are you aware of a financial statement that was prepared at any time for the entirety of the Trump organization? Where it compiled all the different subsidiaries, affiliates, and the like? Well, we had talked earlier, and you had mentioned this statement of financial condition, which I'd seen in, in preparation, like a, a, ver, a portion of it, or I don't even know what it, um, but I don't know if it's all-inclusive and what was, I, I don't know how, if that was the universe of assets that he had or the company had. Can we take a break? Yeah, well, you have one more question. It may be one or two. This is what led into it. Yeah. Um, just so I understand, though, a statement of financial condition would list all of the assets and all the liabilities. Otherwise, it wouldn't accurately portray the financial condition of the entities, right? I've, uh, I've, I've never pre I object prepared. To the question. Yeah, I've never prepared one, so I have but no to idea. To your knowledge, you're a Wharton graduate. I object to the question. I've, uh, look, I have my own. I've never prepared one. I, I don't know. I've never made one. I'm not an accountant. And as you sit here today, you don't know whether it would include all assets and all liabilities? I don't know. Okay. Witnesses asked for a break. Thank you. Okay, thank you. The time is 1147. We're going off the record. And the time is approximately uh, 1216 p.m. We're back on the record. Ma'am, I'll remind you that you're still in drug. Yes. Tara, I'm going to ask the core reporter, Mark, is Exhibit 5. It's a one-page document, Bates stamp TTO 01196295. It's an email from you to richardburn at db.com. Yep, thank you. I can't reach that far. Thank you. I'd also note for the record, the date is November 16th, 2011 of the email. <clears throat> okay. Do you recognize this email, ma'am? I don't know. Okay. Does this appear to be an email that you sent to Mr. Byrne in or about November 2011? It does, yes. Okay. Do you have any reason to believe this was not sent by you to Mr. Byrne? I don't know. Okay. Uh, you mentioned earlier that Mr. Byrne's name sounded familiar to you at Deutsche Bank? Yes. Does this refresh your recollection as to his involvement, if any, with respect to the Doral transaction? Other than it's he's the name sounds approximately 709 and this concludes today's testimony given by Ivanka Trump the total number of media units used was six and will be retained by Veritex New York thanks everyone